All right, have you ever heard the show Rome is Burning? Well, Van, you're burning on something. Well, I'm burning on this. Who in their right mind is going to take their kid to a, a b baseball game, and then if a ball hits the kid, you're going to want to sue the team and the city because their kid got hit with the ball. I mean, hello, you're at a baseball game. The ball is, there's no control. The guy doesn't have, it's not like he's fly fishing. There's not a line on the ball when he hits it, and he's going, oh, i got to look out for that person over there. You agreed to be at the game. You bought your ticket. You go to the game. Enough said. If you're suing somebody because you, your kid got hit by a ball, I understand. Nobody wants their kid to be hit by a ball. That's. I don't want it to sound like I'm not uh, sensitive about the situation. No one wants that. But if your kid happens to get hit by the ball, that's the way it is. I mean, that's you're at a ball game. I, I, when I when the ball is hit, I'm watching where my kid is at. That's. I mean, I take my kids to the ball game, and I'm as soon as I hear the ball get smacked, I'm looking. Because I don't want them to get hit. If I have it out in front of me, then I know they're not going to get hit. Especially if I'm sitting in a picnic area where the ball is coming towards at any time, I'm really going to be on high alert. I'm not going to be talking with my friends or being negligent and then turn around and sue somebody. That's garbage. The ball game is the ball game. I think it's ridiculous that this is even happening. What kind of precedent is that going to set? It's going to ruin everything. Well, I think the thing you're going to have now also is, uh, okay, what about these poor high schools that, that you know, struggle to make ends meet in terms of, uh, you, know, you know, paying the bills, with, let alone buy baseballs. Now they've got to go buy netting and put it up all over the stands to, uh, you know, to, to keep baseballs out that are flying into the stands. These, these schools don't have exactly the biggest of budgets, and it, it's tough for them as well. I mean, this thing is just totally ridiculous. If you're going to bring your kids out to a ball game, you've got to be a good parent and keep an eye on your kids and protect them and make sure they uh, don't get hurt, you know? I mean, it's just... It's all about being a good parent. Yeah, this, uh, in case people don't know, it happened at the Isotopes game. Yeah, it uh, happened uh, Thursday, right? Or was it Wednesday that it happened? No, it's happened a while back. This oh, the story happened. just came out. It, it's been, this has been going for a little while now, but, uh, but it just got public just recently. It just got public recently, but the one thing that, that, that I'm afraid of, well, it's an awful situation. Nobody, anywhere. Right, that everybody agrees people, that. It's awful. It's a horrible circumstance. Sometimes in these horrible things, everyone looks for someone to blame. And it's not always best to go out outward to blame. But the horrible precedent that this could, that this could bring forth is you will never be safe at a sporting event. 100%. There's never 100%. No, that's why it's, it's stupid. You could get hit by a ball. You can get by, hit by a football and football. You know, it, the best, here's the best thing. When you're, uh, when you're going to a level football game and you're on the sidelines and you're covering it, or those are the most expensive seats. But when, when players are coming at you, you get out of the way. You got, right, that's your responsibility, responsibility, right? You know, yeah. There, there's always that payoff for, you know, getting good seats. Because I love that pavilion. That's a great place to sit. But that's a home run alley. Right. And, and the it, balls are coming towards you. And who's going to sit there and see a ball approaching their child and, and do nothing about it? So, obviously, they weren't paying attention, Okay. Look, you go to a Scorpions game. I remember a guy went to a Scorpions game and got a puck in the head. That guy looked like he was trying out for the best Halloween costume. <laughs> or the Chicago is, Bears. <laughs> for the Dallas Cowboys. No, we, I'm <laughs> sorry. We're did, pretty uh, in Dallas. That, that guy oh, did yeah, not right. He did not sue anybody. Nothing came of that. He just went and got stitched up and came to the next game. As far as this goes, if you want to start this, okay, why don't we do this? You want to sue... Okay, so now you're not allowed to go to any games anywhere, in any city, any state, any country. You can't go to any games because you might sue somebody because you're trying to get a payday. How about that? Why don't we do that? And here's the thing also. It's printed clearly on the back of every ticket. Okay, it might be fine print, okay? But it is on a ticket written of the dangers of a batted ball or a, a ball or a That's bat flying into the right. stands. You are warned going in. And when you go to an isotopes game or any... Uh, for most, for the most part, minor league or even major league game, uh, the fans are, wor are warned about that stuff plenty of times. The public address announcer will announce it. Please watch yourself when it comes to a batted ball or, or bat or whatever, you know. You run the risk. You know the risk going in. And, you know, s suing baseball people is just not the right way to go. It's a dangerous, bad can of worms that's being opened up here. No question about it. And the, the only way to prevent to prevent these kind of hits would be to put netting up everywhere. Exactly. And you know what? As every kid that goes to a ball game with a mitt 
that's their that's their fantasy for a fly ball to come their way for a fly. Ball yeah, so these back. people are going to take that out of the game. That that's every that's that's what I went to when I went used to go to Duke's right. games. That's what I wanted to see, and if that goes away, that's that's going to really hurt the fan. And for the the Isotopes Park is an awesome fan park to go to. Right. That Except could just, that could kill uh, it. Back up on that awesome fan park for fans who appreciate the park and not somebody trying to get a payday. Because yes. I'm really steamed about this because you know and. In our society now, we've gotten to a point where common sense has gone out the window. We don't even, everybody's trying to be politically correct on everything, and everybody's trying not to say the wrong thing. How about saying the truth? You know, this is just wrong. It is wrong because this, this shouldn't even be. If, if anybody else would have said, look, this happened, my kid was at the game, and, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, we should have been paying attention. It's not like the isotopes came up to him and said, where's your kid at? And then threw a ball and hit him. You know, it's ridiculous, man. It just all comes down to common sense. It really does. If you're worried about it, don't bring your kid to the game. That's all there is that's to it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, man, I got to work. Sorry.